What's up guys, Friday afternoon and we are loading up. Now this afternoon, one of the things that we do quite regularly uh, before we go out on a long trip, number one is tighten up the wheel bearings, but we always inspect the brakes. So I thought it's probably a good opportunity right now to run through uh, the brake setup that we use on all of the trailers that you see right throughout Patriot Games. And we're towing three and a half ton trailers right down to 600 kilo uh, X2s and they come with different variations of the Cruise Master drum brake package. Now they come in two sizes, they come in the 10 inch drum and they come in the 12 inch drum also if you're gonna be running bigger tires or a little bit more weight. So let's start with the hub first of all. Now the hubs are a cast iron piece, they're cast right here in Australia, in South Australia. Uh, the same factory that was doing all the casting for Toyota and Mitsubishi when they were down here. But they're actually machined uh, right here in Brisbane. So you can get whatever stud pattern that you like to suit any vehicle that you like. Obviously, for us, we're mostly driving Land Cruisers, so we go with a 5 on 150. This one in particular is a 6 on 139 to suit most of your Japanese vehicle. The restrictions that you do have with your stud drilling is your bearing size. Now, one thing with bearings, when it comes to bearings and trailers, I think that's probably everybody's biggest Achilles heel is probably the best word for it. The amount of broken trailers I see lying around this country simply because of bearings and bearing maintenance. Um, for that reason, we go with an oversized parallel bearing. The bigger the bearing, the more heat it can absorb, uh, but they're very high quality bearings as well. Japanese bearings, fully sealed bearings, and the bearings sit right in behind this dust cap here. One of the main checks you wanna do when it comes to brakes is checking the bearings. So like we've done behind, jack up one wheel and all you need to do is wobble the tyre. If you feel any slack in the tyre, remove the dust cap and all you gotta do is uh, nip that castle nut up, uh, put the pin back in and it'll ensure that your uh, bearings are nice and tight and you're not gonna flog out a bearing and maybe damage a, a stub axle or something like that, which, which we've done a few times over the past. Moving right along, uh, apart from the drum, probably the most important part is this thing here. This is the actual brake mechanism. Now it sits on this backing plate and this is housed inside the drum. And I'll just quickly run through how it works. You've got a couple of wires in the back here, so from your Toe Pro that you would have seen in past videos, sends an electric signal down through here. Now, that electric signal controls the power of the magnet, which ultimately controls how your brake shoes open and close. And the friction of these things opening up inside of that drum, that's what's slowing your wheel down. So obviously this is connected straight to the wheel. Now, two of these components in here are consumables, but they're available straight off the shelf from Cruise Master, the magnet and the actual brake shoes. And in the back here, you've got a little rubber bung here, you pop that out and you can control your brake adjustment uh, to the drum. So that's pretty handy as well. There you have it, a little bit of a run through the braking systems that we use right throughout Patriot Games. It's really worth noting as well, these are fully all-terrain systems. Cruise Master don't manufacture an on and off-road version. They are all manufactured for off-road. And trust me, don't take on-road braking systems on corrugated roads. Uh, you're not gonna have a really good time, I can vouch for that. And another thing worth noting actually is all of these braking systems are approved for any stability control vehicles uh, like your ESC cars. So if you like these videos, make sure you like and subscribe. It's Friday afternoon, we're gonna finish loading up and we are out of here.